Hello, my name's Lucy Crichton and I've been teaching children for quite a lot of time now and um, I'm just going to talk about some tools that I have in my teacher toolkit that I think are very appropriate for young learners, okay? So, the first thing, if you're going to use um, any dolls or puppets with young learners, doesn't matter if they don't move, but what's important is, is that they have very simple faces or even no faces at all. And that's because when we have simple materials, we give our students space to create their own faces in their imaginations. So each student will have their own idea about what these people look like. So we're using students inner imagination rather than giving them things that are ready all the time. Another thing I like to have a lot for young learners is also um, lots of different pieces of cloth that can be used to represent things. So a piece of green cloth, if you lay it on the ground, it can be a forest or some grass or a garden. If you tie it around you like this, It can be a king's cape, or it could be a crocodile. So again, really simple things help the students to create their own images. This lovely yellow cloth could easily be a beating hot sun in the sky, or mm, a lovely yellow daffodil. Another thing I like as well is to have some simple musical instruments. Um, sometimes I need to call the students' attention. Rather than using my voice, I like to have musical instruments, or maybe I use it um, for storytelling as well. But the gentle sounds, this is a little three bar kind of um, glockenspiel, I guess, and it goes like this. It's nice to have sort of magical sounds as well for the little ones. And other things that we find here in Brazil, this is a really nice one. Ooh, what's that? Is it the sound of a frog? Is it a squeaky door opening? <laughs> Lots of possibilities. So just to recap, use dolls without faces have lots of different pieces of cloth in the classroom to invent things and characters and settings. And three, have some in musical instruments that you can use in different moments of the class. Those are just some little tiny things from my teacher's toolbox, but I hope they're helpful. Thank you very much.